Scientists were able to recreate a Pink Floyd song by reading the brain activity of people who were listening to it. Listen to this. Here's the original version. All in all was just a brick in the wall. And here's the recreated version. Sure, it sounds a bit like it's being played underwater, but this is still a huge breakthrough. It's the first time scientists have been able to reconstruct a song using brain activity. This means we're one step closer to giving people who are unable to speak a new way of verbally communicating. Technology has been able to translate brain activity into plain computer-generated speech for some time, but this development allows for the inclusion of intonation and rhythm, nuances of language that can totally transform meaning. Here's how the study worked. Neuroscientists took 29 patients who were already being monitored for epilepsy and who had electrodes placed on their brains. They then played Pink Floyd's Another Brick in the Wall Part 1. The electrodes picked up on the electrical activity of different areas in the patient's brains. Researchers then trained AI to recognize patterns in this data and essentially decoded into the recording you heard. Even the song choice was deliberate, and not just because the neuroscientists liked it, though they did. It's also because the song is complex and layered. The track has several instruments, unique rhythms, and complex chords, all of which make it perfect for a study like this. Going forward, the scientists hope more research will lead to crisper and clearer recreations, as well as the ability to one day use this technology without having to surgically implant electrodes. All that said, this is a huge step towards giving those without a physical voice the chance to communicate vocally.